What's up everybody? Trev Wilson here. Welcome back to the Bourbon Wrench. Today we're just going to do a quick little distillery overview, an overview of a couple of their bottles, just showing you what the heck they have to offer. We're going to be talking about the h &C Distilling Company out of Las Vegas, Nevada. It's none other than the Smoke Wagon Bourbons. These bottles have been making waves in the industry. The Uncut Unfiltered is just kind of the poster child for them. Everyone's been talking about it. We're going to be covering the three bottles that make up their standard lineup. They are expanding the reach, so hopefully these bottles will become available in more and more markets. Uh, just stay patient. The demand is growing. They will have no choice but to push out the juice to all of us. So first up is the low man on the totem pole, Smoke Wagon Straight Bourbon Whiskey. This is a $30 bottle. This bottle was made to be the entry level, approachable, affordable, everyday sipping type of whiskey. And I think this bottle hits every one of those check marks. It's absolutely incredible. Granted, the bottle is not nearly as cool as the other ones. You know, you gotta save cost somewhere. The bottle's honestly the reason why I kinda passed this one by for so long is because you see this one up on the shelf next to the other guys and you're like, oh, well that's obviously the cheap one. Surely it can't be good as those other guys. Well, guess what it is. This thing's really freaking good. It competes for sure with other $30 bottles on the shelf, guaranteed. If you have not tried this one, I urge you Quit passing it by, give it a shot. Comes in at 92 and a half proof. This bottle sourced from MGP, the High Rye Mash Bill. In fact, all of these bottles we're talking about today are sourced from MGP, the High Rye Mash Bill, sent down to Vegas. They age it, they blend them together, they create these incredible bottles. So what they do with this particular bottle is they take the barrels and they put them on the top two floors of the Rick House. It's much hotter on the top floors. It allows for greater expansion in and out of the barrel. What they also do is they do not touch that dude. Once they place the barrel, they don't touch it. They don't rotate it, they don't flip it around, they do nothing. According to them, that prevents it from becoming too tannic. You know, maybe just the climate, it is very hot there. So I'm imagining much more interaction with the wood. You run the risk of becoming too oaky. So let's just get right into this guy. It's like a Honey Nut Cheerio or something. This is like smelling Honey Nut Cheerios. If that's your jam, here you go. Honey Nut Cheerios. Nice levels of that honey sweetness. A little bit of the nuttiness. Decent amount of peppery spicy. Ooh, all those flavors come through on the palate. It seems totally balanced. My favorite part, this bottle is not chill filtered. The mouthfeel is incredibly creamy, incredibly viscous. It gives the illusion that it's just much more special than it is. Non-chill filtration is the way to go. Do not chill filter. You want full flavor? Don't chill filter. They're doing it right. That's how you win my heart. Give me all the flavor you can, dang it. All right, next up, we're taking another step up the ladder. Smoke Wagon Small Batch. This is the 100 proof version has the little gold medallion. Upgrade in the bottle. Super cool bottle, marketing game on point for sure. This bottle is different than the first one. So what they're doing with this guy is they're taking young barrels, they're blending them with older barrels. The premise behind this blend is that you're getting the best of both worlds from an older barrel and a younger barrel. They kind of balance each other out. That older barrel is rounding out those sharp edges on a younger barrel. And the younger barrels kind of cutting back on how tannic the older barrels can get. So you're just left with pleasant notes from both sides. This bottle's $50. We're increasing the price. It, it, they go up at $20 with each bottle. So just get into this one. Totally different from the, from the straight bourbon whiskey for sure. You're starting to get this citrus note, this like orange peel type thing, very bright notes, nice levels of rye spice. Again, super mouth coating. I absolutely love that. The citrus note you get on it is pretty unique to me. It's like an orange zesty thing, lots of rye spice, lots of peppery notes, almost like a butterscotch thing going on with it too. I think it's an excellent blend. It gives you this weird illusion. You can't really tell what age this is. It's kind of like, well, it has the notes of an older barrel, but then it has some of those brighter citrusy notes. I, I don't know what's going on. It's just good. All right. And keeping in line with that, 
is the Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered. This is like their poster child. This is what everyone's been raving about. Same premise, so blend older barrels, younger barrels. This time it's barrel strength straight out of the barrel. They blend barrels together to try and keep a consistent proof. This one's 58.01. They try and keep it around that proof range. Again, super cool bottle. Now you got a black medallion. I think this is an absolutely sexy bottle. This is unique. This is how you do marketing. On the nose, Again, on the nose, this is a high rye mash bill, so you're getting lots of spiciness, cinnamon spices. You're getting that butterscotch note again, this bright citrus note coming through, which I'm guessing is kind of coming from some of those younger barrels. It's just a really pleasant nose. Again, super mouth coating, non-chill filter, all your friggin' bottles. Honestly, the flavor profile is basically the same on the small batch, but it's just turned way up. Elevated notes of citrus, elevated notes from those rye spices, the cinnamons, that butterscotch note that I'm getting on it. It's just cranked up to 11. It's just a very well put together bottle. It competes with other $70 barrel proofs on the market for sure. The cool thing is if you follow Aaron over on Smoke Wagon's uh, Instagram page, he is very open, very transparent. Every time they come out with a new batch, he gives his entire breakdown of notes that he gets, what he was looking for. It's just full transparency. It's super awesome that a company's doing that. It just shows how much he cares about these products. And that really shines through on these bottles. You can tell that someone who cared, someone who wanted to create the best product they can blended together something extraordinary. So kudos to them. That being said, guys, my final opinions on all of these. The straight bourbon whiskey is easily one of the best for value bourbons. It competes with other $30 bottles. It's full of flavor. Everyday sipper. Definitely try it. Uncut Unfiltered. Again, heavy hitter. It competes with other $70 bottles. Full of flavor. Extraordinary bottle. My problem lies with the small batch 100 proof. Honestly, this is just me, but I would rather just get the straight bourbon whiskey and the uncut unfiltered. I think the 100 proof and the uncut are too similar. I would much rather just save that money and get something else, I don't know. Do I really need the 100 proof version when the uncut unfiltered exists? That decision is up to you. Me personally, I would probably rather just get the straight bourbon whiskey and the uncut unfiltered. Regardless, all three of them are incredible bottles. I'm just keeping it real with you guys. I'm just giving you my opinion on it. That being said, hopefully all of these bottles start showing up in more and more markets. Hopefully you guys will be able to try them yourself, see what you think about them. Leave a comment below which one your favorite is. If you haven't had them, let me know which state you're in so we can say, hey, why the heck do they not have this stuff? All right, guys, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Trev Wilson. Until next time, guys, take it easy. I'll see you in the next video.